Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me for today's video, the last uh, for the week, where we're going to have a look at advanced steel and uh, plate work. Now, just some of the other features that we have with plate, and I'll just draw up a piece here. So if you go to the advanced tool palette, and then down the bottom there's a thing called features. So just going to go through some of these one by one and show you what they do. So here you've got the edge processing. You can see we've got straight, concave or convex. So I guess if you need to, to you know, put some, some smooth edges around your plate, then you've got uh, this function here to use. And I just undo that. And then the other one we've got is the corner cut. So again, very similar, but it's on the corner rather than the edge. So same straight, uh, concave and convex. Uh, mitering, we, we don't really need it. Um, placing a uh, notch. So there's the shape there. So this is particularly handy for maybe something like uh, putting um, a handrail mount. Maybe you've got plate on the ground uh, or on a platform, then you can use this function to, to cut out uh, some holes in there for you. And then we've also got another one that's uh, with two points. So then I can click from one point to another and get the same sort of thing. And then also with a circle as well. Okay. And then we've got, uh, there's a polygon. There you go. Okay, and also as well, so I'm just going to stick a column through this. And do mid between two points, between there and there. Run the column through there, and then we can have a look at this element contour. So this is the one to be modified, and this is the one that we're going to cut to. And if I put a, a 10 mil gap around that, then you can see it's produced a cutout uh, for that. And then just to show you what that's going to look like on a sheet, I'm just going to give that a number and then come back over here and do a single part drawing process. And then when we look at the part detail, there's the cutouts. Uh, for that column going through that plate. Okay, there's also some similar features if you're going to end up having a look at that. So there is some more down here. So there is another one that I played around with here, the element, element contour with the rule, and a few more down here as well. So they're some of the features that you can uh, use with your plate work there. And if I do another one, so let's throw in a beam here. Uh, and I wanted to do also, I might just throw another piece of plate on this flange. And positioning to the bottom. So I just wanted to look at the bolting for this as well. So if I switch to uh, bolts and then bolt these two together, so that's not obviously not going to work. Two and then do six and then do 25 by 25. Let's make that 35. Okay, and there's also the whole definition. So with that beam, we can go through and do uh, a slotted hole. So if I look from underneath now as well, and you can see there's slots in it. And then if I double click on this as well, advanced properties, hole definition. So you get here the list of what you're editing and you can see it's highlighted in red so if I switch to the plate then the plate is highlighted and then I can do a slotted hole so the hole tolerance let's go um, let's make it four mil 
and do uh, 35 and you can see here that we're modifying the slots um, for that hole there as well so there is also uh, inverted so you can see here we can flip around um, the, the bolt and the nuts as well if you need to uh, out on site site drill or, or shop as well if you want to change the grip increase if we change that to 50 mil you can see we can adjust that there as well and we've also got this button or this option here to finish the calculation at gap so um, it will have the option there to, to go through the whole length so that might come in handy I guess if maybe if you've got two plates underneath there you want to use the one bolt again certain circumstances might mean that you might need that as well if I change that back to zero and then turn that on and off again then you can see again we, we just get the, the normal length finishing there as well so again have a look at these these options if you're doing plate work with the bolts against beams uh, you do have a fair bit of uh, functionality and options in there as well um, there was just another one as well this comes up if if you're I don't know maybe you're reusing the bolts you've modeled in the existing bolts you can turn the option off for the numbering for them so they won't be numbered uh, and they also won't be used for bill of material as well because then that way they're going to be classified as existing and they're not going to be counted and you're not going to end up with a whole bunch of uh, bolts sitting out on site that you're not going to need so have a look at those options there under the, the, the behavior and that usually applies to everything as well so if I go to behavior again for, for beams here I can use them for a single part or I can not use it for an assembly uh, this obviously hasn't been made into an assembly yet so we don't have that option there as well so a lot of uh, toys to play with with advanced steel and plates and beams and bolts and all that kind of thing so if you've got any comments please uh, put them down there uh, in the comment section below and I'll endeavor to answer them or even make another YouTube video of it and uh, hopefully uh, you're getting a little bit out of these videos for the week so thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked the video thumbs down if you didn't please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos and I will see you next week for some more Autodesk uh, toys and goodies and hope you have a good weekend see ya